Amen. Aya. Ah, Thank you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Now, ibada hii ni ibada ya mwokozi, ni ibada ya Yesu kukubariki na kunibariki. It is a worship service with a with breakthrough. Na ninafasi ya kila moja wetu leo kuona buwana na kusikia sauti itokao pahali mugu wa meketi. Amen. Sio sauti ya pahali pegine, pahali mugu wa nakaa serikali yake headquarter ya wateule sauti ya bwana the lord bless you our topic today is clear your faith sema clear your faith au sema clear my faith tunaishi wakati ambapo watu wana mambo ambao na just me just introduce this because i introduce this topic kai baada ya kwanza imani ina mambo mane number 1 Imani ni mafudisho. Imani jina imani hutumika katika mafudisho. Mafudisho. Jina imani pia inatumika kwa ile hali ya moyo wako kuamini Mungu aliye hai mpaka anaonekana na anatenda. Can you write that? Haya. Bwana ndi na niko hamuadiki anti na niko hawadiki number 3 haya already tuko number 3 na wewe hujaandika hata number 1 tukoobe au tukokoje number 3 imani pia ni ile hali yangu na wewe kuishi kile tumefundishwa living out what god has taught us that's why unaona ukikaa na mtu duniani akose kukaa kile kimefundishwa hiyo si imani living out what god says number four, imani pia ni huduma wewe kutenda kazi ya Mungu vizuri katika karama na mwito those are four ways jina imani hutumika ya kwanza mafudisho ya pili moyo wako kumwamini Mungu mwenyewe mpaka anaonekana na anatenda jabu. tatu aha living out kuishi kile Bwana ametuamuru na ametufundisha kuishi hivyo and number four, ministry wewe kuhudumu na gift fulani na mwito furani kanisani na katika huduma ya Bwana na ni vizuri katika is very important to have clear faith now ukitaka poenda nyumbani utaona uh, sehemu ya kwanza ya mafundisho haya na kuna kitu nataka just to mention kuna hali za maisha ambazo zinahitaji Bwana akutokee kwa either of these five way number one, ufunuo kuna wakati ambapo for your faith iwe clear unahitaji tu Mungu alete nuru au alete ufunuo akili yako haiwezi jua anything unless Mungu aingilie kwa mfano red sea israel wakivuka the way things were hakuna akili ya Mungu ya mtu kuwasaidia isipokuwa Mungu aongee number two, kuna kufauru kwa imani ambapo unahitaji Mungu akupe nguvu mpya sasa si ufunuo new strength mahali umefika unahitaji new strength hiyo tu katika Isaya 40 verse 27 bible inasema Bwana huwapa nguvu wale hawana nguvu aha na inasema wanao mgojea bwana atawapa nguvu mpya watatembea na hawatazimia watakimbia na hawatachoka watapaa juu kama tai new strength kuna hali za imani katika maisha ambao kile kitahitajika si mambo mengine ni utii tu just obey kile Mungu amesema na utafaulu just obey Mungu hataki akili nyingi 
Hiyo hitaji elimu nyingi ati ufunuo nini? Hapo si ufunuo. Akikwambia simama, simama. Akikwambia tembea, tembea. For instance, kana ya galili. Waliabuaje? Kana ya galili iko katika John chapter 2. Chochote Kristo atawaambia fanyeni. Sikufaulu walipotii. Eh, hey. na mfano mwingine ni Peter aliposema kama ni wewe niambie ninje nikitebea juu ya maji. Si alitebea alipotii neno peke yake. Aliwapa ni mimi kuja akajipata na tebea. Kuna hali unahitaji tu just obey an instruction from the mouth of God and you succeed. Kuna pahali pengine ambapo unahitaji tu kushika na usiachilie. Kile Mungu alikuambia unabii au the will of God. For instance, kazini watu wanakupiga. Jogorod au Gekoba au Kamokoji wameapa kukumaliza. Let me tell you, katikati ya watu maelfu shika kile Mungu alikwambi mwambie bwana hii biashara baba uniniambia ni wewe umenipa nimeshika hiyo ukikata ukatena hiyo will of god ushike hivi no sikubali kujichanganya na yale mambo watu wanasema the will of god will see you through they have breakthrough by holding family to what you know hata kuna watu watu nakuto limuombea no kasema huyu hata chafuka Huyu hata da jahanam. Huyu hata agamia. Hata ukiona ameenda vipi? Katana ile neno liomba. Na mtapita na yeye unaona hata kama kuna mambo magapi atatokea na ile neno. Jabra tano kuna wakati ambapo imani yako itakobolewa by coming back to yourself. For instance, prodigal son. Prodigal son alipokuwa anakula na nguruwe, hakuhitaji jabu lingine. Hata Mungu hage mtokea na ufunuo huyu die alihitaji kujirudia coming back to your self die akajua anatakiwa kuwa wapi na ni wapi haki yake iko akasema nikirudi nyumbani kwetu nitaitwa mtoto na murithi sitafukuzwa amen bwana asifiwe now this time hiyo uh, nimepitia tu ukitaka kujua details Wede uangalie message number one ya ibada ya kwanza. Tunaingia nao point number three kuhusu clear your faith. To clear your faith, number one, avoid or overcome fear. Avoid or overcome fear. Kuna wakati uneza jizuia kuwa muoga na kuna wakati uneza kuwa uoga meingia na umeushinda. That is very important. Kwa sababu katika safari hii, either uwe na uoga au na imani. Both cannot stay together. Faith and fear cannot stay together. Either you have fear or you have faith, but they cannot stay together. So another way of killing your faith is avoid fear. If there's a kana, overcome fear. Keep it away. Keep it away. Now, Ukiangalia, if you check your Bible, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, kulitokea kitu at the gate of Jerusalem, there was news that a coalition or combination of forces, majeshi, kutoka mataifa kama matatu ya mekusanyika katika lango la Jerusalem na wameamua kuagamiza Jerusalem na Judah. They were committed to destroy Jerusalem, Judah and also Joseph the king. Now, Bible nasema kwamba Jehoshaphat hakuwaona. But akiwa dani kwa ikuru aliretewa message. Akaambiwa mze mufaume at the gate we have a huge army from almost three nations, huge than our army, well armed and mobilized to destroy us. Akabua hivo. Now, kuna kitu kinaitua kustukiwa. Satan hufrahia sana ambushing. Shatani hufrahia sana akikustukia tuwa na moja. Mukiagaria wa kora. Kuna dugu yetu koeche. Habari koeche. I don't know the training munapewa kiganjo. Oo imebadrika, unipolishu. 
Lakini polisi mumezoya kustua watu. Si hata umestua watu. Are you trained? Ukienda uh, Britain, they are not allowed. They tell you, excuse me, sir. Can I talk to you? Yes. According to the law, article, the Jewish section, you are under arrest. That's all. Ukijadibu kumuambia tabadhali officer, angwabia, according to the law, inasema, ukijadibu kupebeleza officer, uwekwe dani miezi ine, already you have been in prison. In Britain, ukijadibu kupebeleza police, kama hawa traffic, umabia tabadhali, shiri inasema, uwekwe dani miezi ine. Hawa ugei? Na hamu ugei? Na ukieda, uko dani, shiri inafuatua. Lakini sijui koechi ya hapa. Hapa, muna stuwa mtu. Atuwe ulipa ngobe. Iyo <laughs> ya Kenya na fikiri mliku. Sijui nani ya muna stuwa mtu kidogo. Eh? Diyo asi kupige. Wa Afrika ni wa. <laughs> Have you seen mukora ambaye atakama akona toy. Gun. What they do? Ana kustuwa kubia. Seba maraka au ni kuwe. Na nikamutu kakiro zate. Lakini kiri amekueka kwaza ni uo. Unasahao madhayo na mariko. Unasahao adhesarao nike na ufunuo. Unamabia simu iko hapa. <laughs> Now, you know why? Kwa maana wana, wa, wanajua. Kama hata kueka uoga. Uwe na imani hutamweza. You either have fear or faith. Na the truth is, Jehoshaphat alipo ambiwa hapo kwenye lango, kuna mungano wa jeshi na wameamua kuangamiza juda na Jerusalem. Bible says if you check your Bible verse, that is Chronicles 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 3. Bible says, and Jehoshaphat feared. Normally, mwanadamu kire hutokea kwanza unless you are very careful ni the way you are as a human being. Your senses. Mwoto kitoka kwa pia, why? Unless uwe labda ulikuwa kwa maombi sana. Kire kita tokea kwanza is the way you are as a human being. Now, if you check, asama Jehoshaphat akaogopa. Lakini hakuruhusu uoga uendele. Bible says, verse 3, Aha, Jehoshaphat akaogopa. But he did not allow fear to continue. Aka, akaelekeza uso wake amtafte buwana. Akatagaza bio ya watu kufunga katika yuda. Are you hearing this? One way ambao utasaidika ili imani yako isikwame. Anytime utastuliwa au upate habari za kukushusha. The truth is zita kwa fact kidogo. Lakini let me tell you what happens. Nuambie siri moja. Wakati wa wote unaona huu na vita na unaamani tumia huo muda kuoba sana. Wakati wa wote unaona tu eh? hakuna matanga hakuna homa watoto wako wanakula madodo vizuri that time usifurahie sana or relax use that time to build anointing Wakati kama huo funga siku mbili tatu kwa maana watu wengi hufunga wakati wameshabuliwa but I would advise you wakati kuna amani na kuna vita make sure unafunga na kuomba si kwa sababu kuna vita kuna maombi ambao si ya vita ni ya kujenga mafuta there is prayer and fasting to raise your faith Ili wakati, haya, sikizeni, haya, wakati, ukisama Luke, uh, Luke 22, from verse 42, kwenda mpaka 46, utaona Yesu Kristo, anakaribia what we call dark hour, wakati alikuwa ashikwe, 
na asurubiwe. Haya. Ako Mount Olive. Some Bible zinatumia jina Gethsemane. Of course Gethsemane ni sehemu ya Mount Olive. Haya. Huyu ni Yesu. Anajua kabisa baada ya masaa matatu majabazo atatokea. Na watastua wanafunzi. Na anajua tusipoomba uongo taingia. Akasema hivi, ombeni sana. Musije mukaingia kwa majaribu lini wakati kutakujwa. Hakusema wakija muombe. Alisema ombeni kabla because I know they are coming. Now wanafuzi wakalala. But Jesus dealt with himself in this manner. Ukisoma hasa Luke 22 verse 43 wenda hapo mbele Kristo alipoenda na kwa maana alikuwa ajitwike huzuni zetu zote na abebe hata kifo afe kifo amwage damu na ateswe na yeye ni mugu kamili ndani ya mwili kuna sehemu moja ambao alisema hivi moyo unataka kufa kwa sababu ni okoya watu lakini mwili hauna nguvu hii jambo ni ngumu kwangu ni ngumu kwa mwili lakini kwa moyo wangu sina shida are you understanding nataka ujielewe can you imagine jesus analyzed himself before the attack unajua mtu ujipima na leo kukitokea jambo how lie what do i do kuna ndugu mmoja aliniuliza hivi bishop nisaidie nini leo ni kifa alikuwa anasema leo ni kifa na nisikufe alikuwa anasema ana withdraw mke wangu ambaye hunitegemea kwa kila kitu hata credit mia ya simu ni mimi kiatu mimi na ndugu akimtafutia kazi anavutwa akimpa shilingi 1500 hasikai asema bishop Ige kuare Nadika, nadika kuwa Alwa sema Na nikivujika mugu, nasitavujika Hawa watoto wagu Nani atawalea Ujue haja kufa Lakini anaimagine <laughs> Sazi kine <laughs> Praise the Lord Buwana siwa sana Watu wanaka As if hakuwezi tokea jambo linahitaji nguvu. Baima nasema yale amepata wengine yaweza kukupata na yale amekupata yaweza pata wengine na yale unapata wengine wamepata. Petro alisemaje kwa neno lake maandishi yake barua Musifujike moyo kwa maana majaribu nao pitia wadugu wengine pahali pengine pia wanapitia. Bwana asiwe sana. Lakini mtu we mtu upima by the way. Sigari huwa iko na ile mita ya speedometer uh, ile ya fuel. Haya, tuseme tunaenda na kuru. Na gari tank inaonyesha iko kuota. Kuogea ukweli, si unaona kuna haja tukifika kikuyu tuongeza mafuta. Sasa hii mita ya roho yako ambayo hujui. Mtu hujua hii mafuta niko naye. Am I able now to handle issues? Kuna mahali guvu ambao nikonae haiwezi nifikisha. Leo na we ni muto na ukosa family. Watoto ambao unalea. Wakitokia na jabo. Ni kutoroko tatoroka au unamafuta ya kuwapereka bali kidogo. Nisalibieni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you the secret. One thing. Wakati wa wote umeombea moyo wako na una anointing. Shetani hata kama hajui yote anajua na mafuta. Anointing speech. Anajua wakati wa wote. You see the devil knows. Na akitajiwa jina lako utakudua anakujua. Anakujua kabisa. 
anakujua kabisa kama umjui devil knows us niwaambia siku moja kuna kijana alikuja hapa amekibia amepatana na watu wabaya sana satanist umoja na wakamwambia hii area usiwahi fanya biashara hii area na ukifanya tutakuangamiza ujiunge na sisi au tu haya na akaasa kusikia kama anakufa wakamuliza wao naenda kanisa gani apostolic faith church kutaja hii kanisa wakamwambia kwa ule mtu atapisha wakati mwe wakasema tafadhali usimwambie tulikuwa na wewe do wakakibia akambia bishop nili nilinua tu mkono nikaelekeza umoja nikasema i destroy them in christ Jesus. they mtu akiwa na tumafuta tu ni tuonekana amen that's why unakuta tunaomba na kufunga si kwa sababu ya shida ni kwa sababu ya kudumisha mioyo yetu ikiwa na nguvu na pia kudumisha kava na hata kusaidia wengine to god be the glory sasa wewe unakaa uombi huji fellowship kuna waduki mwana fellowship ya mandi akilialia ujua amewezwa na madeni amewezwa muke kutoroka kuna ndugu nakuta ataoba maobi ya kulia na kuaguka na kusujudu muke akimwacha au watoto wakiwa ward wakati hakuna kitu ah hakuna haja ya kuoba sana ni wakati wa kuona movies au kuona Chelsea na Liverpool do you know god can move you from hiyo michezo ukute umelala chini ya viti hapa siku 20 umekibishwa tafadhali kaeni na ombeni sana cases ombeni sana msije mkaingia si muombe mkamo umeingia ombeni sana msije mkaingia kwa majaribu hiyo ndio amri ya Yesu Kristo haleluya wao Yesu Yesu yeye ye mwenyewe alijishughulikia akaambia baba kikombe hiki ondoa lakini si mapenzi yangu ni yako kwa maana moyo unataka lakini mwili una nguvu maraika akashuka akamweka nguvu Kristo baada ya kushindwa na kuomba akaomba mpaka mwili ukaitikia msalaba akatoa jasho kama matoni ya damu hapo ndio aliamka akabeba awe mumeomba mumelala haya akawaambia hakuna space nyingine ya kuomba mumelala e mumelala tena e saa hii hakuna space nyingine ya kuomba amka nitwende vile mulivyo kuna wakati hakutakuwa na space ate uombe ndio siingie kuna wakati wa kuamuka kushambulia sio kujitakasa kuna wakati wa kuamuka na kuambia ibilisi nyamaza sio wakati wa kujitakasa can you be so prayerful ili kukitokea jabo utasimama imara amen sasa sikizeni sasa this very potter u jamaa aliogopa kitongo tu lakini hakuruhusu uoga uendelee akageuka atafute uso wa bwana na akatangaza juda yote hakuna kukura watu wafunge this is much better jabu lingine is pulling down strongholds pulling down strongholds means ingia kwa uwaja wa vita kuna watu ambao hawaja hiyo hawajawahi ingia kwa vita hawajawahi attack wewe mwenyewe unakaa bila kulivyo nadhamu niangalie vizuri Leo nataka ubadrike. Badra ya kukaa kwa familia vile ilivyo. Watu hawasomi. Watu ni wajinga. Watu wanateswa na ibrisi. Just staying in a family the way things are that is dangerous. I say that is dangerous. Watu wengi hukaa vile tu mambo yalivyo. Ulevi uendelee ndugu yako mkubwa amewanyanganya shaba ule mdogo aliyeda nyumbani 
akauza buzi za mama yako sister yako ana watuzi bila nataka nyumbani kwako watu wanaingia saa wanataka kwenu watu wanaua na kansa kila wakati azima hujali kuna watu hawajawahi ingia uwanja wa vita ndio wangangane na mambo fulani ambao imewafuata you just stay with them those things i want to say this kuna wakati mtu huamua vita ambayo inaushu inaitwa kuangusha ngome kuangusha nini kuna wakati mtu anasema i now make a decision I will address this issue. Shetani amekura pesa yako. Kila wakati ni hasara. Umekopa runi hasara. Ingine hasara. Sometimes you leave the physical, go to the spiritual. Because what happens in physical most likely it is a result of spiritual. Uamue kuomba. Uamue kuangana. And that's why you need to put down stronghold. Okay, if you check Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4, Bible in Asema verse 3. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3, 4. Maana ingawa tunaenenda katika mwiri, hatufanyi vita kwa jinzi ya mwiri. Verse 4. Maana silaha za vita vyetu sio za mwiri bali zina uwezo katika Mungu hata kuangusha gome i said there is an issue here hakuna haja we nataka uodoke katika utumwa na defeat hakuna haja ya kuitikia gome gome ni nini i told you another day gome ni kitu kimejiunda is a center of power about imejiunda kwa munda na hapo dipo utawara uko sometimes paulo anatumia jina watawala wa giza hili the rulers of this darkness katika ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 the rulers of this darkness a stronghold agalia Rulers of this darkness kwa Kiswahili ni watawala wa giza hii. Kumaanisha hivi, kuna giza naona na ambao ina utawala mahali fulani. So I want to deal with utawala wa giza hii, dio giza hii iko za nguvu. Now, kuna hey, praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. It's good to know that I still remember one day nilikuwa na kake Mathi Estate hapa chini na nilikuwa nakuja hapa saa 9 na piga magoti for 3 hours niombe and I remember nikitoka hapa saa 12 wasichana walikuja wane wakaniambia bishop tulijua uko kanisani tafadhali rudi utu anoint na utagaze ukobozi wetu kabia kanini wakaniambia their grandmother was a single mother mama yake yao alipoolewa alitupo hakuka ni single mother na wao wenyewe wanaona kwa mbali na sio bali sana hiyo roho inakuja kwa maana wakabia bishop huyu ako na miaka 38 huyu ako na 35 huyu rapda 32 huyu 28 Vile tumejipanga. Hii nani haoni tunayakea hapo? Kama tugekua wakuolewa. Si tugeolewa tukamiaka 25 na 26 hapo. Nani anaona? Hii kitu bishop. Nikabia pigani magoto. Nikawa anoint. Nikasema I now cancel this program. I release you to marriage. Na kutoka sasa. Hii pigo liishe. Lisi wapate. Na lisi pate wazoto wenu. Do not repent. All those sisters, after that date, tulifanya arusi zao zimefuatana year after year. And they, were, they all got married. Why? Badara ya kugojea gome furani, gome, a stronghold, iwakalie, 
situdiu na ye watawara wa giza hii let us deal with the ruler of this darkness so that the will of god may be done may god help us now haya na unaweza abudu hata urukaruke na ufurahi but you must fight you must fight the lord is able hallelujah watawara kuangusha nini gome gome pia yaweza kuwa area of weakness ambao shetani hushabulia kwa wepesi let me do something an area of weakness huanza kwa jia bili haya for instance kuna mambo huanza haikuweko inaanza umefungua duka shetani akaona i attack ikaanguka kwako ni jambo la kawaida lakini katika ulimwengu wa roho kuna roho imeingia haya haukujua is an attack so unakopa loan unafungua duka ingine na inaanguka a stronghold also is an area of attack <coughs> a weak area mahali ambapo ule muovu na binu zake hukupata kwa wepesi hado that area a stronghold ni marabiri ni makao makuu ya nguvu fulani iliyojiunda na ikawa ndio mtawala wa giza fulani namba 2 ni area ambao shetani alipata nafasi na anakuattack haraka na hapo ndio yeye hukupata kwa wepesi you need to deal with that na when you deal with those two you clear your faith you clear your faith bwana asifiwe and that's why katika efeso 6 aya ya 10 biblia inasema hatimaye muzidi kuwa hodari katika bwana na katika uweza wa nguvu zake vaeni silaha zote za mungu that is efeso 6 verse 11 Vaeni silaha zote za Mungu mupate kuweza kuzipinga hira za shetani. Haisemi uvae shetani akija. Va bere ndio akija uweze kupinga hira zake. Be fully armed so that when the evil one comes you will be able to resist and to overcome his strategies and his tricks. Nasema sema kwa maana kushindana kwetu verse 12 of Ephesians 6 verse 12 of kushindana kwetu sisi si juu ya damu na nyama bali ni juu ya faume na mamlaka. Juu ya wakuu wa giza hili, juu ya majeshi ya mapepo katika ulimwengu wa roho. Let me tell you the truth. You need to understand Ephesians 6 verse 12 kama uta, uta, utafauru ina mama tatu gome principalities and powers hiyo ndio iko juu sana wafaume gome and number two, watawara wa giza hili and number three, jeshi la mapepo katika anga vile serikali ya shetani hujipanga pale juu ni mamlaka na nguvu mahali shetani anakaa kuja chini ni watawara wa giza hili indara za strongholds giza fulani ina mtawara wake na hizo zinajigawa kwa jia bili kuna kitu kinaitwa gome za miji na mataifa na kuna kitu kinaitwa gome za dhambi au pigo fulani kuna ngome ya usherati Gome ya nini ya ucharati wala tulikuwa tunaomba deliverance umoja mlisikia pepo ikisema hivi na i don't know whether mlifahamu ikasema wewe bishop kwa nini unatagaza madhabahu ya damu ya Yesu kwa families hujui mimi ndio nat, natawara madhabahu ya families na akasemaje na madhabahu madhabahu yangu makuu yako naifasha i knew hamkuelewa hiyo ni nini It was a tough attack but God is powerful. I destroyed the station. It's something about Caesarea there. But but you realize now, sasa hiyo ni stronghold 
ya ya families ni kitu na anasema ni stronghold ni iko na ifasha na inatawara families za anyway it's a satanic thing but to destroy it because Jesus is Lord hallelujah that's very important jambo lingine ni hili jaribu bring everything under the spirit of God even your own spirit leta mambo yote hata mdomo wako hata akili zako the way you think the way hata unakana mume na muke even the way you cook in the kitchen bring everything under the rule and the principles of the holy ghost hata roho yako niwaambie siri moja ya mafuta kama utakuwa anointed na kila wakati Bwana akutumie kukemea mapepo, kuponya magonjwa na kufaulu, lazima urete kila kitu chini ya roho wa Bwana. Your mouth, your feelings, your thoughts, your programs, your marriage, the way you do things, make sure mambo yako haitoki nje ya control na mipangilio ya roho wa Bwana kwa sababu the mo- and by the way do you know ukifanya hivyo any time akili yako inajaribu kutoka nje unasikia warning let me train you haya ukireta mambo yako yote chini ya roho wa Bwana hayo mambo hujua yako chini ya roho wa Bwana Haya, mkiongea na mume wako au mke wako au watoto au unapokaa vile umekaa. Any time akili yako au mdomo zinaenda kutoka nje unapata warning. Unasikia unapata warning. Na sasa usiongee tena. Na sasa usiongee tena. Na sasa usifikirie hiyo. Na sasa usi... why kwa sababu uko ndani na anything ikienda kutoka kuna roho wa Bwana kuambia na boundary ndio hii. Haya, wakati hujaweka mambo yako chini ya roho wa Bwana, huwa hiyo hiyo warning mtu hana. Na ndio kanisani ambia wa watu muwe very careful. Kuna muibaji alisema Baba Kengoli anajua hii boss mimi sijuwai sana kisikia ati ati uchuge sana mawe yako ni mawe ni maya yako isiharibiwe. Kuna na hiyo kwa hiyo kwa hiyo. Sijui hiyo wimbo sana watu naipaka kamoza wanajua uh, ati haya iko hivi Unaona wakati kuna, kuna tokea ghasia katika nchi yeah? Kuna watu hana anything ya kujali Hana anything hana biashara hana family hata kama akona hajali hana gua na uza Kwa hivyo yeye anaweza enda hata <laughs> Hata naweza kupiga gari yako kio hajui maana ya kio Sasa muimba kusema chuka mayaya ya. Kwa maana kuna watu hawajui maana ya mayai Are you understanding Katika kiroho tuna hiyo group 2 na wakanisani Kuna watu hawajali Wakianza kusengenya ndio akoko ofisi yake riu kwa maana hajaweka hajareta mambo chini ya roho wa Bwana. Kwa hivyo akianza kusengenya ako nje ya roho wa Bwana na hana sauti na muonya. Mwingine labda ni mke wako mume wako au neighbor akikasirika hana sauti na muambia unatoka nje ya roho. Aweza kuwa ni your wife or your husband unakuta huu ni mume wako yenyewe anadai ameokoka lakini kuna kitu haja haifanya haja haivuruta mambo yake akayaweka katika roho wa Bwana kwa hivyo akiongea anaweza tusi anaweza ongea ukimwambia ndugu si tumeokoka sema sitaki kusikia hiyo sasa hiyo wewe unachuga mume wako baba sitaongea kwa maana najua umeniita yeye yeah, hajui hiyo ah hata sasa hiyo ameenda ame garage ametoka na ile chuma spana sio nitakuwa leo wewe unasikia mwoni mwako hizi ongea hivyo na wengine wako hapa 
Si labda ni wewe. Wewe mama tituogee. Sasa hii ni wazuri. Kuna watu hapa hata sasa hii. Jaribu tu ukosee hiyo kiate yake ukanyanga vile kuna vubi. Ipate vubi. Hata sikia hii neno tena. Hii kanisa chafu hii. Wananichafuria kiatu. Na hata kuchafuria ni vile tu tu walikonyaga bila kujua inakukosa paka unatoa kanisa because hujaweka mambo yote chini ya roho wa Bwana so it's very easy for a demon to use anything hata kitu kidogo hmm? kuna mama moja niliambia siku moja vile tu uongea oh mom huyu mtoto wako ni mzuri sana akaambia kwani ufikiria ni haya mimi kwani kwani ulifikiria ni mbaya kwani ulifikiria sisi ni wajinga sasa ikashiwa gai. Ah, ni kama pia siko na maanisha hivyo. Akasema wacha. Si umesema ni mzuri. You see. That's how kuna watu wanyamaza huku. Inabidi ujue mtu neema imefika wapi na wazimu. Na ni nani kwa maana mtu hajawahi leta mambo yote chini ya roho wa Bwana hata kuwa wazimu hizo hizi. Kupotesa fahamu eso isi hello bwana is bwana sasa sana and that's why at the same time mtu ambaye ameweka mambo yote chini ya roho wa bwana vizuri is very hard ata kueshida gani upotese balance lakini hao watu check ule mtu hana control wale ukasika pako unaoka kifuna pia hivi hata kama yakabiri bila blood pressure hata kama yaka baba jela niambia anapoa yako ulipata wakati uko umeokoka wewe si ulikuwa mkali sana ajua bishop yema kwa kikonyoi kwa dhibu pressure <laughs> ni ile alipata wakati kwa tunamuombea alikuwa mkali mzee mzee mungu amekuokoa na kumbuka wakati wa dawa yako tulikuja mzee anaangalia wale wazao wameleta buzi ni wazao wa kapo za kujwa pope anawapeleka kwa ba Tunaacha tukiogea 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 ada waleta wakao revi eh bora kidi eh damu ya Yesu iko na nguvu msa nisalimia hivi haleluya amen <laughs> but i thank god for your wife do you know mama jeri hapo nakasirika alikuwa sema bishop baba jeri ni huyu huri akora kwa hana kugo You know ni kwa sababu ali, kuna kuna mambo aliweka chini ya roho wa Bwana. Kama ni wengine hapa. Eh? Ugeitiwa my brother in law watatu wa kuude. Na roli na, na, na roli ya Isusu. <laughs> ibebe ibebe vitu. May God help us to be truly saved. Clear your faith. Clear your Usikae kama mtu ambaye anangoja any time even the devil knows any time aweza tumia mdomo wako any time aweza kuchafua let the devil know everything is covered na in case akija the holy ghost you raise a standard pigie ni Yesu makofi <laughs> haleluya haleluya bwana asifiwe jambo lingine madhio chapter 10 verse 16 fukua hapo oh Matthew chapter 10 verse 16 Matthew 10 now Kristo akawaita wanafunzi 12 Bereni walikuwa angalia walikuwa wanamfuata anaponya wakiona wanamfuata anafufua wakiona wanamfuata anakemea pepo wakiona this time Yesu akasema siedi ni nyinyi mtaenda Kristo akabaki akawaambia nimewapa amri ya kutoa pepo na kuponya kila aina ugonjwa na sitakuweko nyinyi deni alafu akasema kitu katika aya 16 agalieni mimi na watuma 
kama kondoo kati ya mbwa mwitu basi iweni na busara kama nyoka na muwe wa pole kama ua jihadharini na wanadamu kwa maana watawapeleka mabarazani i said you like sheep among the wolves be wise like serpent and be harmless like dove tabia bili kama imani yako itakuwa clear why niangalieni katika maisha kuna kitu kinaitwa kuishi na watu you can avoid people hata hii huduma tumetumwa kwa watu watu ndio huokoka si hewa na sio speaker na sio nyumba kama utafungua biashara wapendwa nani wateja ni watu kama utanunua matatu nani wateja ni watu amen kama uko na harusi ni akarani watahudhuria ni watu nani ataibia bibi harusi nani atabeba bibi harusi ni watu you can avoid watu no kama utaishi kama mtu ambaye hakai na watu you be abnormal but kristo kile anatupatia sasa is a very good way ya kukaa na watu even your marriage be wise and number two, be harmless mtu ambaye maishani anatanguliwa na hekima hushida vita nyingi sana kuliko ule kupigana vita na nguvu ainuliwe yesu bwana ainuliwe unatazama unaona na kama huu ha na otieno ninamuelewa tukienda hivi tutakosana tukienda hivi tutaelewana badala ya tukosane kila kuwe kelele kwa nyumba sinitumie jia ya hekima ninapogojea Yesu amkoboe there are people utaishi na wao i always tell people kuna mama wili hutafanya wewe hautakoboa watu damu Yesu ndio anawakoboa Mungu atakutumia lakini wapenda tunapoomba tunatumia jina gani nileto ndio ya Yesu tunapo nena tunapo eh, amuru baraka tunatumia jina gani la Yesu tunapo takasa deliverance tunatumia damu ya nani ya Yesu there is no way damu yako itaokoa there is no way your name you save sasa lazima ujue hivi huwezi malizia Yesu Yesu kwa kwa tunaambia hivi msimalizie Yesu makesi kwa maana hata Yesu ana kesi yake pale mwisho wale watu mnakana wao hutawamaliza kabisa ni Yesu atapeleka watu jehanam na heaven si wewe mnaweza kana muke au mume na kuna maisha utamaliza achia Mungu takuni na gaima shira Ah, iyo, iyo ni complicated kama uelewi niachie amen coach ule muke muke uko naye one that dio yako to that ni ya Mungu na ya siku ya mwisho Yesu akirudi ukijaribu kuchukua yote kama wewe ndio utapeana uzima wa bidere na kuweka watu jehanam utaumia nisalimia nimeka sababu bila kunisalimia kuja hapa analoya hii ni askari bwana anasemaka askari wa kulaiki fora acha nikule ya ya askari ni kubu wow analoya oh analoya bwana asifiwe you see one thing you do tumia jina la Yesu kukoboa tumia damu ya Yesu kuvuja nira kuna nira huwezi angamiza na nguvu zako if you try they destroy you i can let me tell the truth hapo nimepokea watoto kuna mmoja tuliobea pale kwa kona a young girl ananijua lakini alijiunga na satanism hakuna mzazi anamweza the only mzazi alimweza mama yake aniambia as i hate my mom ni muobaji sana 
na kuna karama ya unabii na discernment analeta we sa apatie sista yake na ni saa amepewa ya kumfanya apatanishe na network mama mabia leta hiyo saa hata hiyo necklace asema bishop my mom na ni kweli tulipokuja kalikoborewa but you see the powers she is using there are so much that and is pokwadi maombi ya mama yake agekuwa ameua baba yake na sister yake Tuliombea moja hapa akasema I don't know what to do kwa maana anaambia aunt yake aunt natafadhali unisame na usiambie wengine ni mimi nilua ule aunt tulizika last month satanist sasa wapendwa kuna mambo ambao huwezi kama damu ya Kristo haitahusika kuna mambo huwezi kama jina la Yesu halitahusika that's why bwana atuambia hivi kwa maana katikati ya watu kulingana Yesu wewe ni kama nini kodo katikati ya mbwa mwitu and the problem to kona high school na university is because for the sake of unity walimu wanafundisha kitu kinaitwa social gospel we are one we are all brothers it doesn't matter where you come from and what you believe in we are one dio sasa kwa shule accommodate waislamu accommodate satanist accommodate wa kristo mwalimu ana anafundisha they are being trained to teach kitu cha kuunganisha and that's why your son akitoka university ukimwambia usioe mtu ambao si wa imani yetu haelewi anasema kwa nini mnaonea walia ningeoa si walia ni wazuri hata ni brown kuliko sisi mami mami honi wewe vile uko mweusi <laughs> unasikia kitu kingine kama jamaa leo sema mambo ya bangi By the way, can I tell you something? Nyinya mwojua wazazi, that's how they they talk. That's how they speak in visit in the university. That professor anaongea the way they speak university. Wanaongea kwa hivyo. My son aniambia mwalimu wao at first year aliwaambia faida I want to teach you faida 12 za banki. Nairobi University na saa hiyo hapo hapo kuna vijana kama watano wanaiuza kwa hiyo class na wengine wanaipeana ikiwa kwa biscuit na sasa professor anasema you know unajaribu kumwa <laughs> unajaribu kumwambia bangi ni mbaya anakuambia kwani wewe ndio ulifika form 4 wewe ndio mkubwa kuliko professor Wajuang Sasa wakija kanisani wapendwa na tukose kusimama vituambie tu nasi tuambie ubaya wa hiyo kitu na tuambie vile Mungu alivyo na wajas roho wa Mungu the pressure iliyo nje is too much it's too much hello praise god kuna kijana alikuja hapa tu watu wataka kusaidia kwa sababu amevuta bage sana baba mazi akawa pia anakumbuka na mungu ampe neema na mama asante kwa kupatia mzee chakula saa zigere hapa inahitaji fese kwa <laughs> sasa nikamwambia huyu kijana mna juana anaitwa kama yeye enda mkule ugali dakika tano hazikuisha kutoka hapa kwa gate alikuwa amepata bagi na akavuta na akaribika baba mama sasa bisho mimi sielewi tumekuwa na amerudi aye ilibidi tuite polish akafugwa na kaba paka madhale tuoge kate hello praise the lord na imekuwa issue kwamba in some places hawa watu wanauza drugs even security officers wale wakubwa hawawezi anyway hayae yesu alijua tu na alijua 
huyo binti yako anaenda shule kulingana na Yesu kama ameokoka ni kodoo katikati ya umbo wa mwitu umke wako hapa ameenda kazi Australia hata kama ni unaona kama amekomaa hiyo ni kodoo katikati ya umbo wa mwitu Yesu akasema hivi na kwa maana hata kosa kwenda hiyo kazi iweni na wisdom be wise Mtu amekuambia situkula lunch. You know, be wise and number two, be harmless. Kwa maana itabidi bosi yako haamini Yesu and yet ndiye bosi yako. Be wise. Be harmless and let the blood of Christ do its work around your life. Pia ni Yesu makofi. Amen. Hallelujah. Kwamba kuna hekima ya ajabu ya Mungu tuko naye na kuna wema wa Mungu. That's a one way of clearing your faith unapokaa katikati ya watu. Unakuta huyu ni your brother. Huwezi muepuka as your brother. Lakini hujui anaamini nini. Huyu ni your sister, mnapendana. Lakini humele ham yenyewe mtakuwa na pamoja. But be wise and be harmless. May God help us now. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Jambo lingine as I finish. Kama imani yako itakuwa clear. Vibitisha ukwe establish the truth. Establish. I'm saying this, chukua ule ukweli wa Mungu na ufanye ule ukweli uwe established. Kuna shida hii. Mnajua Yesu anaweza. Lakini huo ukweli haujadhibitika maisha ni mwako. Unaweka tu ovyo ovyo. Mnajua kabisa jina la Yesu ni ngome imara. Lakini huo ukweli haujafanya udhibitike. Unakaa ovyo ovyo hata kwa, kwa nyumba yako. Mnajua kabisa Kristo alishinda kifo na kuzimu. Huo ukweli haujaufanya uwe imara. Unakaa ovyo ovyo. I'm declaring to you. Oh, kweli hapo tumejua wa damu ya Yesu. Let it be established. Oh, kweli hapo tumejua kwamba Yesu alishinda kifo. Wacha wa ukweli we established. Oh, kweli hapo tunajua kwamba Kristo atarudi. Usikubali kitu ya Yesu kurudi ikosewe nguvu. Sometimes tunakaa it's as if heaven is not real. Can you allow your heart and your body to show that heaven is real? One time, kuna mwana mga inuliza, Bishop, kwa niwe ujaribiwi? Nikashidwa, nikioyo. Akambia thasa, kuna moja nyambia, amenijaribu miaka ine. Vile mwanaume hujaribiwa mpaka, sijua na wanyanini. Mwanaume, nike mweka. Akambia, kwa niwe ujaribiwi? Nikamwambia my sister heaven is so real I must get there Wakovu wangu sio tu wa kuitwa kisa anasema ati wengi waliitwa lakini wachache wataingia nikamwambia wangu uko face tu ni wa kuingia heaven is so real Akaniambia sasa nisaidie kuokoka vizuri Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Wacha heaven is real. The truth that we believe let it be an established truth in your body and your mind. Uwe kama Joseph. Joseph anambia mke wa Potiphar, anamwambia sikiza. Hakuna mtu anatuona tumejifikia hapa. Hata mume wako ameniweka juu ya kila kitu hata hafikiri lakini kuna kitu mama nataka ujue wewe ni muke wa Potiphar yeah. anamwambia now come back to the truth you are somebody's wife yeah. na number 2 akamwambia how can i do such a sin and wickedness before my god my god is real let the ukweli uh, wa mungu usiwe na niginia pahali let it be true kama ni ukweli wa fugu la 10 imeandikwa ukitoa 
utabarikiwa ukose pai pa kuweka sukuma ule ukweli mpaka ubarikiwe vile pameandikwa let the promise be established kuna watu utoa fukura ya 10 na wadai kitu unaruza tu hivi hivi umekuwa kanisani miaka mitatu why don't you ask god god kwa maana huja ni bariki nikakosa pahali pa kuweka baraka kwani sija shika huu kweli vizuri i know there are two brothers who came to me one day baada ya kufundisha waka bishop nataka kuona niko hivi na within 2 3 months they became great nyinyi wadumu kanisani imeandikwa utabarikiwa ukose pari pa kuweka why have you not become that nikwani say don't give tithe the tithe you give is not tithe kuna, kuna ule ukweli kabisa kutoa fukura kumi. mpaka the promise become real let the truth be established is the truth ya kuibaiba may the lord bless and anoint us may the lord bless and anoint us hallelujah bwana yesu ainuliwe bwana yesu ainuliwe sasa maisha let me just mention one thing if you want to clear your faith gain the position of authority hakuna wakati imani itakuwa safi na inafauru kama hujashika na hujafikia pahara ambapo mamlaka ya Mungu fanya kazi kuna katika wokovu a position of authority in the kingdom ukiangalia wakati Yesu anaongea na wanafunzi wake katika luka kumi, aya ya kumi na saba mpaka kumi na tisa inasema ndipo wale sabini waliporudi kwa furaha wakisema bwana hata pepo wanatutii kwa jina lako hiyo ni luka kumi, kumi na saba akawaambia nalimuona shetani akianguka kutoka binguni kama umeme there's an issue here hebu niangalieni hao ni wanafunzi wametumwa wamerudi hata mapepo imetutii tulipotumia jina lako akawaambia i have a problem with your position kwa maana mlipokuwa mkifanya hivyo nalimuona shetani mkuu wa hayo mapepo akiwaangukia kama umeme akawaambia kwanza kujeni kuna kitu hamuna i want to give you a position you know i gave you authority niliwatuma muka keme pepo lakini sasa i want to give you position akasema katika aya 19 akasema hivi amen tazama nimewapa amri ya kukanyaga now this is a position when god gives you authority to step in ni kumaanisha amekutoa level moja hii level ya kungangana kile ulikuwa unangangana nacho sasa kichini ya miguu yako now i give you authority not only to cast out demons but to trod over may god give you authority to trod over na wapa amri sasa ya kukanyanga things must be under your feet kukanyanga nyoka na nge nyoka na nge ni ngome za mapepo na laana na nimewapa amri pia juu ya ule adui mwenye nimeona kiwangukia hata yeye kuanzia sasa ako chini yenu amen na akasema nimewapa amri namba 3 security akasema as you do that if you check verse 19 yasema amen praise the lord wala hakuna kitu kitakacho wadhuru kwa maana this time nimewatuma mungepata madhara i saw him fall like lightning over you but now i give you power maraine power to cast out demons power to trod over scorpions and snakes number three, power over satan himself number four, security power 
nothing will whatsoever hurt you sasa habia sasa endeni mkienda hata kutokea nini you are covered may god give you possession of authority kama hujafika hiyo level imani yako daima itakuwa na problem utakuta imani yako ni struggle unaombea mgojwa lakini ni struggle unafugua biashara ni struggle unaombea wazazi ni struggle unaenda ni struggle bwana asema kuja mara ya pili i give you power authority to throw over serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of satan and as you do that nothing will also ever hurt you possession may god give you possession so that your faith will be clear hey hallelujah hallelujah ukiwa hapo unasema satan nyamaza na nyamaza unamwambia i like that brothers and sisters you need to preach lakini uwe na position wana nini position i know it sometimes tunaenda mahali crusade unakuta kuna wachawi kuna wakati mmoja bonke alienda crusade california na alipoenda california kuna kitu kilitokea alisema literally literally alikuwa anaona moto unatoka nyuma ya crusade unakuja bere yake unalipuka only to discover kuna mwanamke anakimbia anakimbia kutoka nyuma kufika mahali bonke yuko akaanguka akaza kutapika akalia ajabu akasema i am the strongest witch in california na nilitumwa nikuue lakini umenimaliza nisaidie kuokoka inaitwa preaching with authority satan is under your feet na ya mwisho nothing will whatsoever hurt you those powers zilimfikia zinalipuka may god bless your family god bless your future god cover you tusimame tushukuru sasa hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Inua mikono yako sasa nataka utagaze ushindi. Tumia damu ya Yesu to clear everything around you. Apia Bwana kama uishivyo naomba vile ulishinda kifo na unatawara bila kizuizi. Give me a clear authority. Give me clear faith. Clear faith in business. Clear faith in ministry clear faith in finances clear faith as i serve you clear faith about prosperity nataka imani inaofauru katika mapato katika doa katika kutumainia mambo nataka imani inaopasua a clear faith shakataka pasakata rabosa Sheketeke nema kashaka tapasoka rike masuta rike ma abia bwana hii hii imani ya wasiwasi hii imani ya kila wakati ni struggle hii imani ya kila wakati ni kuchanganyikiwa nikiwa bere yako leo na yagamiza kwa damu ya Yesu i pray for clear way my god clear way my father clear way shaka tapasota rike ma Sherarika pasota oba kabisa Pokea nguvu usiogope Bila Yesu aliita hao akawaambia ninawapa nguvu hata leo Yesu wako hapa anakupa nguvu ya kukanyanga nyoka na nge na kukanyanga nguvu zote za yule adui and nothing will hurt you may God give you cover Shakata rabo Sherarika posota makatarabo sikirima mandarararaba sherererere bakaya makatarabosa sheketekene mazonda mantarima sika shoko posika raba yonda mikata twakata uongo wa shetani twakata uongo wa watu twakata uongo wa hali zote zile katika jina la Yesu asante bwana na tatu obe na we sasa kuna jabo ambalo uko nalo 
umekuwa ukiamini lakini imani yako is not clear badala ya kutokea na ushidi you struggle a lot na hiyo jambo limefanya ukae pahali pamoja muda mrefu either ni katika nyumba yako au katika kulea watoto au katika business there is an issue that has held you so much na ni wafanya tu ukae tu imani yako kwa hiyo jambo ni jambo moja tu mengine uko na favor mengine una faulu lakini kuna issue moja imekuwa struggle miaka yote na ukifika hapo imani yako sio clear you struggle a lot can i tell you something how toki hapa kwenda kukaa hivyo tena by the authority of the name of jesus hiyo job unaleta chini ya miguu yako i bring it at your feet i bring it at your feet hata kama ni mtu na mleta chini ya miguu yako ndamko nako tuju haleluya inot kabisa baba katika jina la yesu hili jambo ambao kwa munda na majira limekuwa huzuni na machozi na struggle katika familia na katika kijana na katika mama mzee aliye hapa ninaliteka nyara ninalishika kwa nguvu yako ninaliweka chini ya miguu yangu na kuliangamiza egome egumu za giza mnazotumia hali na watu i curse you now destroy you now by the word of the living god ushaka babu shetani i curse you devil Satan I rebuke you now. I rebuke you Satan. I rebuke you Satan. I rebuke you Satan. Baka tarabo soka. Rima sato rima. Oh na ngamiza o magonjwa. Na rani o ya kifo. Na ngamiza madhara haya. Damu ya Yesu. Shaka tarabo. Makarabo shinda. Sasa inua mikono pokea mamlaka sasa. Hiyo jambo itakusumbua tena. Receive peace. Receive peace. Kama ni ugonjwa, pona. Kama ni fitina, bwana kuodole. Confusion katika family imeisha. Leo damu ya Yesu. Damu ya Yesu ndio utapata kwa hiyo nyumba. Asante bana. Asante bana. Asante bana. Asante bana. Hallelujah. The church is marching on The church is marching on The gates of hell shall not prevail The church is marching